This is the dream, a clean, organized, everyday makeup drawer. But if you're anything like me, it always ends up looking like this eventually. So today I'm bringing you along to organize my everyday makeup drawer with me so it goes from cluttered to beautiful. So I started out by cleaning everything out of course and I have three bins that I'm sorting everything into. The left shoe box is for all the products that I'm not going to keep in my everyday makeup drawer that I need to incorporate back into my makeup collection. The the middle box is for the items that I do want to keep into my everyday makeup drawer. And then the box on the right is for all the empty products or in some cases just things that I need to throw away like old mascaras, just anything that just needs to go bye bye. <laughs> so the whole process of organizing and going through everything was kind of exciting because I got to see all of the makeup that has been buried in this drawer for so long and I haven't really been able to access and really go through everything and assess you know what I've been using what I've not been using and what I really need to keep at my fingertips because I want to try but I maybe haven't given it as many chances as I should have I don't know if you're anything like me but I am a creature of habit so I tend to use the same products over and over and over again every day as much as I love trying new products and there are a few reasons for this the first reason is that a lot of times I am running out the door to get to work as soon as possible because I like staying in bed and snuggling with the kitties in the morning. But the other reason is that if I'm going somewhere important, I don't want to try a new product and potentially have a disaster on my hands. So I need to really branch out and that's something I've been working on and really getting all the clutter out of the way really helps with that. So I want to get back to what you're actually seeing on the screen. You'll see that I had all of my makeup organized in these little white plastic containers. I believe these were originally cookie or cracker containers. I actually got them at a place called Scrap in Portland where you can buy just little things that were lying around that are trash to some people but other people might want for like DIYs or something like that. So I got these for five cents a piece and I've had them for about six years. They worked great for the longest time, especially while I was a college student, but it's time to upgrade. So now that I have everything emptied out, I just need to go ahead and clean everything out and put my new organizational trays in. I got these on Amazon and I will put the link to the exact ones that I purchased in the description bar down below. As you can see, I'm trying to get the little sticker off without messing up my nails, and it's definitely a challenge. Luckily, it's only on that one big tray. And I actually got three packs of these. I didn't know exactly how many I was gonna need, and I wanted to be able to fill up my entire drawer. And let's just take a minute to say how adorable my cat is. That is Coco, and she's just so inquisitive. So anyway, um, now that I almost there we go, now I have all of these sticky stuff out. I'm unloading that one and I have another one there. And next step is to figure out how I want everything organized. And one of the reasons why I got these is because instead of a singular organized, um, you know, one big one with a bunch of little compartments, I had the ability to kind of mix and match them. So I ended up using two complete sets and then one tray from the third one. And now it's time to start putting everything back in. And maybe if I was being a little bit more organized about my organization like that there, um, I would have kind of mapped out where I wanted everything to go. But as it was, I just decided I was gonna kind of play around with it and see what I wanted to go different places. I really wasn't sure what to do with the big squares and the little squares from the get-go, but I wanted a little bit of flexibility in my organization. As you can see, the big squares work really great for my different foundations and face products because those tend to be kind of big, so it's hard to put a bunch of them in one different section. And then these small containers ended up working out really well for small items like concealers and whatnot that easily get buried. And then of course, I have the perfect size for all of my different like lip products like glosses and balms and stuff like that that I just like having at my fingertips all the time. And then you'll see the place that's currently empty. I'll start filling that in in just a minute. I have an overnight mask that was kind of half used up. And then I'm going to use the rest of the space in there in just a second you'll see for some of my everyday tools because it's just easier to have them in the drawer with everything. And you'll notice that I have another shoebox that I'm incorporating into this drawer. So funny story, with my move, 
I wasn't actually using anything from my everyday makeup drawer. I had just taken out the things I was using like every, every day and kind of kept everything else alone. So right now I'm incorporating the products that I was using every day after I moved and everything else had kind of stayed the same. So really this goes to show that when you have too much at your fingertips and too much selection, it really can work against you. So that's why I like to keep my everyday makeup in one area and then my makeup collection in another area so that I can kind of swap things out and really get use out of the things I have versus always reaching for the same things every day um, because then I really don't get to enjoy what I have and all the makeup that I have just really goes to waste over the long run and that's not fun. So as you can see, I'm kind of reorganizing things a little bit, just deciding where I want to go and that is the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day, beauties. Bye!